Hey, 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 it's Donnie B and welcome back to another Clean With Me. For those of you who have been following me know that I have started a series called From House to Home where I am decorating my house one room at a time. In today's episode, I am going to be tackling my laundry room. Um, But first, I must get it clean. So I have a lot of built up dust and a lot of clothes that need to be folded. Pictures that need to be hung on the wall or put up. And so today I am going to go ahead and give this room a clean slate. So in my next episode of From House to Home, I can go ahead and get started with the decorating process of my laundry room. I don't know about you, but my least favorite part about washing clothes is the folding process. I tend to leave the clothes in the laundry basket in the laundry room and shop them as I need them. I know, I know, I've got to do better. Okay guys, I need your help. Tips and tricks. My kid loves macaroni and cheese. He even has capes that I put on him, but sometimes the macaroni and cheese tends to get through the cape and still get on his white clothes. I have bleached these white clothes. I have soaked them in bleach water and I still can't get them pearly white. So tell me, what do you do in order to get those whites white again? In my previous episodes of From House to Home, I tackled my home office and I also turned my master bathroom into a spa oasis. I'm going to go ahead and leave those linked for you so you can go back and watch those. This picture originally hung in my home office. Uh, Right now I have absolutely no place to put it. So until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in my storage closet. Right now I'm just moving things around because they will be repurposed. For example, that laundry basket's going into my son's room. This trash can is going out into the garage so we don't have any reason to leave any trash in the car. And as you can see, look at all the dust that has been collected over time on the floor. Some of it has come from the push broom that's on the wall on the side. And a lot of it has come from, you know, just not dusting on a regular. 
So with these things that are on top of the shelf, I'm just going to move them around as well, like all of my laundry detergents and everything. I am going to um, just put them on the side because of course I am going to place them back into the room, but I just need to create a clean slate so that everything can be organized. In all actuality, this shelf needs to be both cleaned and repainted, but for now, I'm just going to try to give this shelf as good of a cleaning as I can with this all-purpose cleaner that I am using right here. So I'm just going to wipe it down really, really good, but eventually later on, I may go back and repaint it. think to clean out your wash machine right I mean it's constantly running water through it you're constantly putting detergent in it to wash your clothes so you would think that as the water is running through and the detergent is running through it would also be cleaning itself and it would stay clean but no take a good look at it you may have some built up laundry detergent some built up fabric softener and whatever else you may be using so just take the time out and every now and then give your wash machine a little maintenance and a little love and care and you know give it a good cleaning out a trash can in this room but for some reason the dryer sheets tend to always find themselves on the floor
how many times have you pulled your wash and dryer out to clean behind the back? I have to honestly say, the two years that I have been in this home, well, the two and a half years that I have been in this home, I have not once pulled my washer and dryer out to clean behind the these appliances. Because of all the cords and not wanting to accidentally pull any things loose, I am trying to find the best angle in order to clean behind this washer and dryer. It's becoming a little difficult, but eventually I do get the job done. So now I have my laundry room all cleaned out. I have a blank slate. Cleaned off those baseboards really good. As you can see. All right, everything is clean up here. Clean out the washer. Now what I am going to do is I am going to clean out my washer a little further. I am going to put some vinegar in the wash. Um, I'm gonna put some vinegar um, here where the bleach goes. And I'm also gonna put some vinegar in the basin. And then I am going to uh, uh, set it to clean. But I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm about to do some more work in here. Husband is going to hang a cabinet right here because I know you're like, okay, so you took all your detergents off of your shelf. What are you going to do? So I'm going to have a cabinet right here and husband is going to, he's about to come in and hang that for me so I can put all of my um, laundry detergents in there. And you know, everything is all clean. All right. So now the exciting part, stay tuned.
to uh, for my next video. You're gonna be able to see me put this space together. All right. Thanks for tuning in to another Clean With Me with Donnie B TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Until next time, enjoy your day.